Hey there, thank you for stopping by fellow fans of Clash of Clans. I hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday season. I really appreciate you taking the time to check out a video. It is Gem Fix Farm Max That Rush episode 93. And yes, we're getting deep into the packages, all right? So we're gonna be buying all of them today. Every single package on the lineup. Uh, were they the best deals in the world? No, uh, but I'll tell you in a minute why I didn't really honestly expect them to be crazy. But you know what I do expect to be crazy? The updates in 2020 for Clash of Clans. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And also, if you get the opportunity, please do stop by a Facebook live stream at fb.gg slash realgaladongaming. I stream there every single day. And if you ever thought, hey, it's impossible to talk to Galadon, uh, you're, you're wrong. You're damn wrong. I'm sorry. You're it's wrong. Him. You're damn it's, wrong. <laughs> he's got. So we have to make that into a meme. Come on, that's got to be a meme. That's the best thing ever. I love that right there. Oh man, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I just? Oh man. Okay. I thought for a minute maybe I had accidentally bought something without using creator code Galadon. Now, I'm not gonna this episode go through the whole thing about oh how you need to use it and that sort of thing. Um. Okay. Technically, I am anyway. Right. Let's let's be honest. I'm I'm just showing you that I did it because I almost forgot because. Creator codes expire after seven days, so that's kind of a bummer uh, that that happens. But the good news is, is that you can enter it, capital letters, lowercase, it doesn't matter. As long as you spell my name correctly, you will give me the credit, and I will be giving back, again, 10% to charity, 10% to you, the viewers, as well. So uh, the more we spend, the more we save, the more we get back, the more... Okay, now let's just be honest about these packages. Five times the value for Christmas, eh, you know, not the greatest. The Black Friday, the Cyber Monday deals, okay, there were no Cyber Monday deals, there were Black Friday deals. Those were actually a little bit better. But to be honest, I've kind of lowered the bar of my expectations for these packages. And I'll tell you the indicator that I saw that told me we shouldn't expect anything insanely valuable. And that is, do you remember recently when they changed the buy the gems and get bonus gems to give to your clanmates deal? Remember they dropped the biggest one, the 9999 one that sent 100 gems to 10 of your clanmates? That one got dropped, essentially deleting a thousand free gems right there. And I don't know, that may be kind of suspicious. The fact that they dropped that made me think, okay, they're going to be a little bit tighter this season, this year, on the gems and the deals, I understand. But we'll see. I'm hoping that we'll see some amazing deals coming up next year. But you never know. They kind of keep us guessing. Obviously, the skins as well are going to be something of hot contention. Will we see any new skins for the Warden ever again? Will we see the Royal Champion get a skin? Even though she's way up at Town Hall 13, I'm guessing she probably might not see more than one skin for the entire 2020. We're going to focus on King and Queen and then, of course, the Warden. But I'm ready for a new Warden skin. Like Father Time, maybe? Okay. Speaking of heroes, here we go. So, today's episode, we are going to max out all four of the heroes. So, we will have completely maxed out heroes. And please ignore the slight mistakes I make here. Okay, there's one that you can't ignore. And we'll get to that in just a second. I Yes, I realized as I'm doing this that sometimes I don't watch my books. and I don't watch my gems. I don't watch my resources properly. And, of course... There's things to be considered like the gold pass, which I was not even thinking about until one of my viewers, kind viewers over on Facebook reminded me, unfortunately, well, you'll see in just a second. So we're using some gems to finish some hero upgrades because I only had like five books left and I wanted to use those on the longest upgrades. We've got three levels left for the warden, two for the king, two for the queen, and then we are going to be completely done Super excited about having two maxed out accounts on offense. And the idea being that I can take this account and attack my maxed out account. And every time I want, I can test a fully maxed out base with a fully maxed out army. So we're getting closer each day. Obviously, today's the day we get the heroes done. There's still a lot of troop and spell upgrades to do as well. But we will get there. And I yes, I also realize you guys think that I'm rushing through 13 with my second account way too fast. And if that's the case, then there's a simple fix. And that is we go find Galadon 13 point. No, that account, if you recall it, the one that gemmed from Town Hall 2 to 13 in a day. And we start using that account. You never know. If we get bored, there's always starting another account. And that's the great thing about Clash of Clans. There's no limitation to how many accounts you can have. Even on one device, 
with Supercell ID. Okay, so here it is. The Archer Queen is going to 69. Don't laugh. She's going to get there, and then she's going to go right past it. She's going to cruise on to... Wait, okay, so we're going to get the... Yeah, okay. See, I don't know what I was doing here. Honestly, a little bit distracted. This was during a live stream, so I maxed out the Warden. Now I've got the 60... Wait. Okay, yeah, okay. And then we went back to look and see that I had three books of heroes left. So three books of heroes, three levels to go, right? So there you go. There's your queen to 69. Then we will take her to level 70 as soon as we open up another bottle of... Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to get the uh, rune of elixir. We had four of those left. So an overflow of elixir. Going to get the job done right here. And here it goes. This is your level 70 archer queen. And yes, I realize, again, don't do as I do, do as I say. Make sure your elixir storages, your gold storages are empty, completely empty before you do that. Otherwise, you're wasting, like, that was, what, 20% of a rune just thrown down the drain. Okay, but there it is. Maxed out queen, maxed out warden, maxed out royal champion, and king going to 69. He is going to get the job done. Just don't... King going to 70. Here he is. All right, so now we're going to get him to 70, and here's where I made the mistake. So I've got lots of runes left, but it turned out of course, that I will remember this right after I make the upgrade. So I'm sitting here thinking, oh, do I waste 76,000 Dark Elixir? Do I really have that much left to do? I might as well just go ahead and do it. So we fill it up. We've got the Barb King. He is done with that level and he's going to level 70. And I realize the comments are just going to be blowing up now because the Queen and the King were both 69 in this episode, but they both made it to 70 and there we go. So now they're maxed out and we're done. And yes, you'll notice, I used gems to finish the Barb King, and... Uh, yeah, so... So, you know, I mean, you know, just... Don't do don't do like me, you guys. Make sure you check all of your different places before you waste like this, because it's unfortunate, you know? It, it, it really is, so I don't know. I'm, I, I'm gonna penalize myself, and tonight, the first person that comes to my live stream and says... In all capital letters in the stream chat, Galadon, smack yourself in the face with a book of heroes. Uh, I will give that person a $10 Amazon gift card. All right, so if you want that, come on in and tell me to smack myself with a book of heroes because, yeah, whatever. Okay, let's just move on. So here we go. We got that done. And I, again, like I talked about, we've got a lot of troop upgrades left to do. Uh, we're going to get some of these done right away because of the abundance of resources so we've got balloons maxed out we've got spells maxed out we did have the book of spells as well or okay not spells but heal spells specifically okay we have the level eight heal spell because i think that's going to be super important for yetis because yetis right now unless unless you know we say the nerf word i, I think the yetis are going to be crazy strong but again i'm calling it it's going to happen there's going to be a balancing and people are going to be unhappy when something happens to to make yetis less powerful. So, all right, so we maxed out another rune. We went in and what was it? Oh yeah, bowlers and hog riders. Definitely gonna be using the hog riders because of Itsu's OP strategy. I say that with air quotes when I say it because I'm still not convinced that it's necessarily the best attack strategy ever, but you know, we will see because we're getting ready to go to war. Now this is the use code Galadon clan. This is the giant killer clan going up against the level 19 clan and Galadon using Itsu's attack. I'm not sure if it's going to work against this base though. You're wrong. You're damn wrong. Okay, I brought that one upon myself, but here we go. So it is Itsu's OP attack strategy and you'll notice that my jump spells are not maxed out. So definitely handicapping myself big time by not having a maxed out jump spell. Man, I, I don't even know how I got a one star, but no, seriously. Honestly, this attack is feeling pretty good right now against specific bases. And that was the feedback I got in that episode. And that was that bases just need to adjust. There are certain bases that are going to do better against it. But, you know, honestly, I don't know if I agree with that simply because I did not see a lot of bases that were defending well against Pekka Smash. And I feel that this attack strategy and similar ones using the Yetis are simply stronger Pekka Smash attacks. We saw Shaso try to put together a base that did defend briefly in CWL last year at the World Championships against some of those ground attacks, but I don't know. We just, it, it remains to be seen, okay? So I'm not gonna say conclusively in one way or the other, so Itsu doesn't have to tell me I'm wrong again, but I think that we just need to give it a little more time and see if the top base builders out there 
come up with something else. If they're going to be doing something that will stop that attack, we just have to wait and see. Also, you have to remember there's a lot of players who have maxed out really quickly, like myself, and there's many, many, many more players that are not there yet that will get there at some point. So a couple of things on this attack. Watch, the funnel was pretty clean. We got everybody right down the core. The jump spell was beautiful and the earthquake, absolutely ideal. Everybody is just going to destroy. Then you can see that the abilities were well-timed. And as we wait for it, the hog riders, there's still an entire siege barracks up there full of hog riders waiting to come out and annihilate. And notice this time the royal warrior, royal champion, I always get that wrong, the royal champion, goes up at the top and the hog riders come down here at three o'clock and this works out pretty well. So the Royal Champion is supporting the rest of the troops that are going through the core of the base. She's preventing them from needing to go through the walls back to the outside and that is huge value right there. In the meantime, I'm pretty okay with that hog rider heal spell. You know, that worked out just about perfectly. They get through, power through, and now it's a single target Inferno, which also is really bad against this style attack. As you can see, the Hog Rider's just going to wipe it out right here, and we're going to overpower this base. So, yes, it was a great attack in that it was a maxed out 13, attacking a nowhere near maxed out 13, so maybe you can't really claim that this was a perfect example, but it is the Gem Farm Fix Max That Rush account, and we're doing well, we're feeling good, and do you want to know? Do you want to know the outcome of the level 1 versus level 19 clan? Wait, no, I think we were level 2 at that point, but anyway... Come back and make sure you watch the next episode of Noob vs. Pro. In the meantime, we are going to hit a bunch of builders. Wait, no, okay, I didn't mean it like that. This, this is a non-violent episode, okay? We're not going to hit any builders, although they are lazy. Sometimes they need a, a light smack with the mallet, their own mallet. Uh, but no, we're going to use some builder potions and get those things completed a little bit more quickly. And that's about it. I mean, we're looking good. We did pick up a ton of wall rings this episode. But we will wait and use some of those on the level 14 walls and, of course, get those scatter shots upgraded to level 2 in the next episode. In the meantime, as we wrap things up, let's go to the status report and check it out because it was an expensive day. 187.94, the total not quite to $6,000 yet, but awfully close. 59.92, used a few of those gems we bought today, $2,750, almost $20 worth. And then total time, just under 248 hours. Our next goals are to max out all troops and spells so that we can be fully, truly maxed on offense and then really do some fun, friendly challenges and test some different base designs and army compositions. Thank you guys, as always, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You're the trash day, Galfam. Now get out there and make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind of people, animals, and plants. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. <sighs> Wait. Oh, there it is. Galadon, can I have $6,000? Because you apparently don't need it. <laughs>